Hey people, this is The Pilgrim, and this is my top 5 base locations for Ragnarok. It's all the best flat spots that I've found that you can build huge bases on, that probably no one will come to because there's too much lag. Right, this one's on the edge of the redwood, um, just overlooking the desert. So weird, I could get the foundations down, um, what was it, 102 across, so sort of long, right down the, the middle of the place, and about 40 wide in the centre and about 35 foundations across at the top and about 15 down the other end but every little space in between is like completely flat if you're in this location you're right between three biomes so you've got like all your resources are nice and close by it's on a bit of a plateau as well so there's not really dead easy access from down below um, shouldn't get like dinos wandering in there nothing can fall down off a cliff face onto you so pretty sorted it's a good little location plenty of trees stone and there's a little uh, lake just behind it as well so you can run water up to the place but you can see how flat it is it's just perfect I think this would be a pretty good location for like a hill fort or a castle because you could like run walls almost right around the whole outside of the whole plateau I am nowhere near qualified to talk about PvP but for like uh, walking brontos and some of the other dinosaurs up you know that they used to salt bullets and get close to your base basically can't do it up here especially if you've walled it all off and everything let's get a bit of a bird's eye view for you so you can sort of see where it's located give you an easier time finding it so that's like the mountain overlooking the desert on the right hand side there that's the edge of the snow biome coming up to where the, the redwood runs um, the whole thing was covered with trees and rocks so it's not really it's not something you sort of notice as you were going by so I'll clear it all out just to show you but them cards and everything are all spot on so should have an easy time finding it all right that's number that's number five Right, this is number four, the shallow sea. It's just off the coast of the desert. If you are at the, the lighthouse and you're heading towards the desert on the left hand side out at sea, you'll see like a group of rocks sticking out. And it really doesn't look like much at all. But between the rocks, there's completely flat ground, just like I'd say a wall, a wall and a half underwater. I managed to get 47 foundations down from sort of that direction um, to the other end and about 38 to 40 wide at its widest spot and like everything in between again like the other place it's called completely flat so you can have like a completely underwater basement or stick all your amphibians in here probably a few of the shallow water dinos maybe megalodons are getting there i should have tested it really but yeah uh, you could definitely get all the smaller water dinos in there would be a decent place for a water pen and breeding pens for all your sea dinos definitely deep enough for a megalodon that uh, some of these rocks here are just you just can't break them basically like big coral formations so you kind of stop working around them but like the majority of this whole site here is just completely flat again give you an idea where it is you can see the orb down there the lighthouse so you sort of coming up from that and it's just on your left but this whole section, um, I didn't bother doing the other side, but that's all flat as well. I mean, there's more rocks on that side. There's not as much room. But, you know, this whole area is like a little little island, a little sunken island. And it would be great. You could run like a proper water pen off to the sides. There's deeper water all the way around it. So, yeah, that's, I thought this was a great little location for a sea base. Right, number three, uh, the forest pond. This place is heavily wooded and there's tons of rocks and stuff, so I had to clear it all out before I did it. Um, this one was just over 60 foundations long, so from that end of the forest down to where the little pond is at the back, and I got about 41 to maybe 50 wide going, on, going down the sides. And again, it is completely flat right from the tip of that foundation there right up to the other end. Got access to water, there's rock, as you can see thousands of trees so you're not running out of resources anytime soon and it's on the border so you're just just over that mountain there you've got the desert and that way you've got the sea 
Uh, the obelisk isn't too far away either. I think there's metal there on the left as well. So yeah, it's just a great little location. See, it's like completely flat all the way up to here. So it's another one where you could build a decent wall all the way around. And the flat spot actually goes back further into the forest. See over there to the right. And the rest of the area is just like insanely flat. Perfect for building. I mean, seeing that anywhere it is, but I just thought I'd take some of the asshole out of trying to build up and down and lowering and hiring foundations and things like that. There you go, there's a better view of the place. It's not too far from the big wavering spawn, just over there, the way I'm looking now. So you can always go hunting eggs and stuff. But yeah, that's another decent location you, you basically can't see from the air. Even if you're on the ground, if you don't like clear it out or have a really good look, you're not going to notice it. But it's in a quite a decent location again, I think. Right, this is number two, and it's the Ice Lake. Right, sort of dead smack in the middle of the map, right in the uh, snow biome. Right, it's a big open space, you've probably noticed it have flown over it. Um, I managed to get, well, well, I made a video of this build the other day and that's sort of what started this idea off. People are asking like, how big the area is and how flat it is. I managed to get 1,293 foundations down. And you, I could have just carried on right to that wall over there and probably left and right as well. So it was massive. Um, and this is probably the best known flat spot on the whole of Ragnarok. Um, the Green Obelisk just right above me there it's got a big massive rock jutting out of the side it's good for sticking some cliff platforms to you could put a build up there and this whole area is just huge um it was a well I managed to get 116 foundations down sort of pointing at that mountain over there so that one on the right hand side that's yeah that's 116 foundations and anywhere from 56 to 66 foundations across before I started it in the slope so this is just massive I mean I've built a couple of castles I've built a massive big S plus uh, glass laboratory on there as well once a big telescope thing but I've seen loads of builds been done on there you know through uh, Facebook and stuff like that it's just a really awesome spot so I get an idea where it is you probably know about it anyway but yeah, that's that's basically the the most perfect flat spot I could find and the largest on the whole map. Yeah, I don't think there's a spot like that on any of the other maps, not even centre. But um, there's some pretty good spots on centre. I might do a map, uh, one about that if this video goes down okay. Um, yeah, so that's it. Top five base locations on Ragnarok, the best flat spots. Right, thanks for watching and all that. Um, if you get a chance, go and check out the rest of my channel. It's all how to build videos and stuff for that. Alright, cheers guys, I'll catch you later.